All right, time to play some H3 VR. Uh, sorry I was late uh, uh, with this new update because uh, well, I've been busy. <laughs> I'll talk about that uh, in another video, uh, probably after this one. But yeah, let's just get to it. All right, so update 107 is finally out. So all the stuff from the previous updates, the experimental and, uh, and uh, test branches or whatever, uh, have been rolled into... This one major update, and now we've got a couple of new things to talk about. I'm not going to talk about all the other stuff that we've, we've already seen. But uh, yeah, so as you can see on the table here, we got a couple of new uh, M16 type of, uh, you know, uh, pattern uh, rifles here. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, first one is C601. I think Anton showed this off. Yep. Uh, really early in the um, AR update uh, dev logs. And uh, yeah, you can't see it here, but it's got a nice little green color all to it. But uh, now let's just uh, left on the touchpad, changes the uh, fire select. So you got safe, semi, and auto. And uh, yeah, it's your basic uh, AR pattern rifle. Change the aperture. Alright, you know what? I am going to rotate myself around because I can't move too much. I'll use the uh, wrist menu here. And we are going to shoot some stuff. Let's pull out one of these uh, waffle mags here. Set this to semi-auto. And you know what? Let's go full auto. Pretty cool. There you go, C601. I think I got that right, yep. Looks pretty nice out in the sun. Uh, you know what? I hate this since I can't rotate freely. Let me, uh, let me stick a grenade launcher on this thing. Yep, alright, cool. That's what it looks like. Of course, we can't just put a grenade launcher on there without firing. Okay, well, again, I don't have any targets, so... Okay, cool. And, of course, uh, the rail at the top can accept uh, different scopes and mounts and whatnot that uh, Anton added to the game. Of course, we can put in a suppressor. Right, hold on, I'm trying to figure out... There it is. All right. Looks pretty cool. Oh, man. Huh. Squeaky triggers, huh? <laughs> but there you go, the C601. Uh, we'll talk about that other stuff later. So let's just put this back uh, again. Like I said, I just I had surgery, so uh, I can't really rotate that well. Still healing. Uh, all right, let's move on. This is, uh, okay, I think this is the one we've had before. This is the M16. Uh, let me, let me look, look at my list here. M16, just an M16, regular M16. We all know what an M16 is like. Uh, this is the new model that Anton put in uh, a while back. Pretty cool. Of course, we've got a whole bunch of... Uh, M16s now, so that was the M16. This is the M16A1. Yes, I put the, I'll put these all in order, so I, I should be able to uh, to uh, remember. Yeah, you got your standard M16A1. The uh, bird cage flash hider. Pretty cool.
Oops, I did not charge. Cool. Alright, there's your M16A1. This is the M16A2. Yes, okay. <laughs> Again, I put it all in order, so I shouldn't I shouldn't mess this up, but uh whatever. I mess up sometimes. I'm not that uh whatever. So this one has instead of full auto, it's got burst. So we're gonna try that out. Let's do the uh, waffle mag here. Get that uh, if you if you release it too early. That's two, right? And it'll just fire one right now. There we go. That's one. Of course, you want three round burst, so you don't want to do that. That cool little thing Anton added, and uh, shoot that into the sky, and. Uh, yeah, rotate around here. See what we can put on this thing. Let's try the uh, shorter. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm not even gonna aim because there's no target out there. So, <laughs> yep, grenade launcher works. Pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, this is uh, this is the A2. So it's got the nice little, uh, little hand guard there instead of the triangular. It's got the, uh... yeah, all right. Let me rotate again. Oh, man. Whoops. I knocked over the M16A3, right? Yep. Basically, is, uh, yeah, it's the A3. I think I got an email. Yep, that's the email. Uh, right, yeah. So the A3, pretty cool. Somebody uh, out there can probably uh, go around and tell me the difference between all these, because there is a long and storied history between all these models that I just don't have the time to get into. But uh, let's just fire off a couple of rounds from the A3. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Forgot. We could flip up the sights. Apertures are... Pretty different actually let me just see something here oh yeah yeah okay cool i want to make sure that i got the uh feature there yeah okay cool and uh i gotta flip around again and uh, this one is full auto as well so Cool. All right. There's the A3. Again, I'm not uh, too familiar with the differences, but uh, for the sake of completion, it's in the game. Uh, so yeah, it's cool. There's there's more on the way. I think this is only part one of the AR update. Anton's on vacation currently right now, but uh, we'll move on. Let's uh, go to the next one. This is the R6000 SP1. So yeah, this is the, uh, I guess I want to say the civilian version, right? Pretty cool. There is this only semi-auto, so safe, fire. That's it. That's all you got. Cool. Let's, uh, oh man, I hate having to move around like this, but uh, let's, uh, let's actually put a, let's put a scope on this thing. Now let's uh, do one of these babies. This one is a little further out. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can increase the magnification here to nine times.
Oh, that is actually that is not uh, zeroed properly. This should be good. Hmm. I need to increase the uh, elevation here. Oops, that's not right. Sorry. Let's see if this works. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much, uh, yeah, this one, the R6000. It's only semi auto. But still pretty cool. Let's put that away. And let's turn ourselves around again to get to the final one, which is the R6000 SP1 carbine. Right? So it's a smaller version of the R6000. I think this is the one that I dropped, yes. There you go. It's got all the makings for carbine. Got the retractable stock. Shorter, uh, shorter barrel. All right, let's, uh, let's trick this one out. Let's uh, grab ourselves a grenade launcher here. Ooh, nice. And then let's get the uh, suppressor on this baby here. Okay, cool. Gotcha. I'm not gonna put a bayonet on this thing. Let's uh, let's do the. Um, this is the three by twenty. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, all right. Stand the stock. Stick one of these babies on here. And, uh... I don't know what to shoot. Let's shoot that one. Let's shoot that, uh, that tree over there. Oh, well, that one's in the back right there. There we go. It's a little high. Scope is a little high, so... Oh, we're out. But I missed. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not that good of a shot, but uh, there you go. The uh, R6000 SP1 carbine. All tricked out. With all those magazines that I used. All right. Well, I think... Uh, oh, yes, that's right. And uh, we've got a couple of things here uh, for you... Um, you brick lovers out there, we've got the, uh, the clay brick, which is, uh, I think you can spawn lock these. Yeah, you can. You can throw these. I hit the legs. <laughs> and then you've got the uh, cinder block here, which you can also spawn lock if I can somewhere I'll put that right there yep there we go spawn lock that you can build a house wanted to I'm not going to because <laughs> it's gonna take some time but uh, yeah I need a I need a weapon here 
You can shoot these, if I remember correctly. These would be good targets, too. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Oh, I didn't get it. I didn't quite get it. Oh, I used it up. Oh, well. But yeah, so you get your uh, clay brick and center block for your building and shooting needs. Hold on just a second, guys. This is going to be really bad, but... Uh... <laughs> Grenade that close. All right, well, I think uh, that is about it for this update. I've already shown off all the other stuff in uh, that came out in the previous updates. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I've been pretty busy, and uh, I should make a video about that uh, after this one. But uh, I have to uh, think of um, what to say very carefully because uh, it's kind of a sensitive thing, matter that I'm going through right now. So, but, uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's about it for today. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.